Hello everybody, this is Aiden and Dad, and... We're doing another Aiden Live Q&A. So, Dad, I've been running around in Minecraft recently, and it's gotten really dark for some reason. Uh, but I want to upload it. Is there any way we can change the brightness in Caden Live? There sure is. Let me uh, just load our previous project again. And it's this one, I believe. Okay, let's just have a look if we have a dark spot here, but I, I don't think we do in this, but it's all happening indoors, so this is all lit up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the clip here. And remember the clip started with a dark bit. Now you can do the same left click and dragging here to quickly show you what's going on. You see that's, there's a nice dark spot there. So let's use that. Let's bring that clip in here. And zoom there a little bit. And let's see where up to here. Let's say we want to actually go in there. Okay, that's roughly enough. Cut that bit out. We're going to throw this bit away, highlighting it, pressing the lead key. And this one we're just going to drag up there just to have it nearby. Let's zoom in a little bit. Now, obviously, we're going to have to replace this first bit of this clip here with the new one so let's make space for that just roughly and we I don't want to put it right here I want to create a new track for it so we're gonna go over here and right click let's say insert track and say after video 3 alrighty now we can put this down here and you'll see it Again, it just snaps into place there on the left hand edge. Like that. You'll see the monitor screen is now dark because this transition is set for auto. So it works fine for the one below here. So if you put the play line there, you'll see that one's fine. But over here, you only see the heading, the title that we put there. So just to get past that, I'm gonna. Just hide the track there for a bit until we get this done. Alrighty, let's look at this. So this is all dark to about here. So let's say we want to light this up. I highlight the slip again, go to effects, color correction, and there's a brightness keyframe of Again, we want to add keyframes, which we covered in a previous episode. And this is again at the start of this piece of clip, and that one is for the end. So we want to add a few more. Let's do a couple more. And since we immediately want to light it up from the beginning, we're going to just change this parameter here to 120. So Increase it by 20% basically is what we're doing and that one too So you see the one let's just click again here to make that one effective as well So this bit here is now at a higher level than and this one comes down back to 100 to This guy which is here And then the last bit let's zoom in a little bit more so we can see this a little better Okay, let's move this one over to roughly where this line is. So that is the one we got there. And actually a little past look there. Gonna move this one closer. So here it must just be yeah, when we start coming up. See it gets lighter and lighter the closer we get to that door. So we're gonna start tapering the light off back to hundred percent again. Alrighty, so let's figure out what we're gonna do here. We're gonna do a dissolve again. Just is there a visible difference between the light before and the light now? Um, that's a good point. Let's let's see. 
see now. Now we can actually see that zombie's face. And it's a, quite a bit lighter. It looks a bit green. Yeah, it's not a perfect solution. You know, simply because there's no light, you lo lose a lot of information. Um, so this is like a unnatural way of lighting things up, but that's the best you can do in videos. And of course, if you have, you can always try and correct the color even more by going by doing some fancy stuff with it. But yeah, we're, we're not, not that good yet. We're not doing that. Okay, let's make this one a little longer. Let's just see. Here. Yeah, that's that's good. Okay, we want to create an overlap here, so let's zoom in a little bit until we see seconds on this timeline here. And there we go. Now, individual seconds, you see there? So, I'm actually going to do 143 and just drag this guy to there and then on 45 and drag this guy to there. Again, we want to create a dissolve transition here. And that's the default one right there. So I just left clicked on that little green thing. And we brought it up and I dragged it for the duration that I wanted. Now it's two seconds long. Okay, let's fix this video. The fade in, I don't want to do just one second. I want to do it as long as this overlap is so I wanted two seconds fade in here on the sound not that there's a lot of sound on these clips but that's the right way to do it if you add sound there otherwise you'll hear both sounds and it could be confusing now this one we need to add obviously the fade in and fade out as well so fade in we can do one second like we did before fade out we want to do Again, two seconds because this overlap here is two seconds. So let's just change that. There we go. Now there's one more thing we need to take care of, and that's this battle club that we have here, which we now disabled. Let's enable it again. Unhide it. We call it hiding here. Hide the track. So you'll see it's fine for there but here it's not so in order to fix that we need to drag this edge of this transition right up to the end of this dissolve here again I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so you can see so it's fine to there and then here you're just going to see the title track okay we need to add for this clip here we need, need to add its own transition with the title and there it is and I put it up right against there but you'll see it's still saying auto so let's fix that we need to do that with video 4 so transition with video 4 and we don't want to dissolve we want same as what we had there which is a fin and how's that there we go let's see now yeah. That looks a bit better. I think we're all good. And before I forget again, let's save as. Give this a new name. By the end of the series, we'll be in the hundreds with that number. <laughs> that's possible. Okay, guys, that's it. Let's uh, render it. And again, all this is fine, we just want to change. Have you marked off the area that you need to render? No, that's why we're oh, okay. full project. Everything here is still fine. And the file. And we'll get back to you when this is done. Right, so after 17 minutes, it's done. Yeah, and I, I forgot to mention um, I've only set the encoder threads to two, so that's why it took a little longer. Plus we obviously add this additional track, which makes a difference. Let's see if it worked.
how bad you were at PvP. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so in that video, Dad taught us how to do brightness with keyframes. Uh, as usual guys, I'll put a link to this in the description and at the end of this video. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Bye! Bye!